We like showgirl jokes. Go on, keep going. <laughs> Okay, I thought I'd get a private show here. Uh, welcome back to this morning. Uh, as you know, oh, go on, go on. Go on, cut your leg up, girl. Go on. Actually, not in that skirt, so. Uh, as you know, Christmas Day is just around the corner and the big festive feast is on the horizon. But don't stress, because Phil Vickery's here to share his tips on how to cook that perfect yeah. turkey. Phil Vickery. We are indeed. Here it is. So, um, as I say, part of steam, part of uh, roasted. Five kilo turkey, five to six kilos, raw at 10 o'clock, one o'clock eating lunch, and includes resting it as well. And there's a great I use a rule of thumb. Pretty much the, the amount of time you cook it for is the amount of time you can rest it for, up to two hours. That'll still be internally hot at 75, really? 80. Absolutely. You rest it. Rest it. You have to rest it. You've got to have a rest time. It's Christmas. I, I, <laughs> how long did the turkey need to rest for? Well, it depends how busy it's been for exactly. us again. OK. Well, OK, right. we'll come on to okay. that. So here he is. So part roasted, past, uh, as I say, part of steam, part roasted. Um, stuffed bird or unstuffed is up to you. It makes no difference really in the cooking time. It might take three or four minutes extra, but honestly, it doesn't make any difference. I've done the testing okay. on it. Here it is. This is a five kilo bird, as you can see. Again, unstuffed, but you know, that's purely up to you. And it's very simple. In this bowl here, I have a mixture of whole carrots, a few bay leaves if you want to be a bit chefy, leeks, chunks. I love a leek. I, I love never leeks. cook with a leek. Mm. No, they're really nice. Yeah. Um, a few ch chunks of onion, a bit of celery, whatever you've got lying around the fridge. Don't bother chopping it up too much either, so you're going to cook it for two hours. OK. Turkey goes on top of there, like so. OK? Very simple. On to the stove. Now, let's get rid of that and wash my hands. Now... Phil, can I ask you a question about far the away. turkey? Far away. So I always got taught this trick, and Go apparently... On. And I think it does work. Go on. I would cook my turkey upside down right. so all the juices go through the bird and right. then for about the last half hour or so, turn it, over. turn it over so the juices run back through. Yes, now there is some science to say that does work and it does to a certain extent, now, especially on smaller birds, especially game birds, right. if you turn it that way around. However, if you're going to steam it, it makes no difference whether it's turned upside matter. down or not. No, because you're in that sealed environment. Getcha. It's really important. So, in there, I'm going to put two stock cubes, Crumbly ones, in they go. Any like, stock. Any stock you will do. And then I'm going to add either boiling water or cold water. It's up to you. In that goes. Now, the only reason I'm using boiling water is because it cuts down the cooking time, which we'll come on to in a second. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay, by a good half an hour. Okay. So stock cubes in there, no salt because you've got a stock cube. A little bit of pepper goes in. And then. Oh, Phil, this is handsome. White wine. Oh, white wine. Equal amounts of white wine to water. Equal? Equal amounts. If you don't want to use wine, just use more water. Two, roughly a pint and a half to two pints. In that goes, like so. And obviously the alcohol, that's going to burn off. Pretty much it does, but there's still a residue which doesn't. So there's a little yes. bit. But okay. it's infinitesimal, it's tiny. Okay. Right. Mm. So what you need to do then, this is the most important thing about this, is here I've got a double layer of foil. Looks like you've just done the marathon, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> so what well you do... Well done, you did it. <laughs> What you do is you cover the tray, OK? So we've gone around one side and you go the other side, OK? You, see, you are making a, a, a hermetically sealed container. Oh, all right, science. Come through. Get me. And this is the most important point. I can't stress this enough. You need to make sure that if your turkey tin's got a lip on it, you scrunch that down as tight as you can. Spend a bit of time. So even here, see that bit there? I've got gases on there, but see that bit there? Yeah. You want to scrunch that up until it's completely sealed. Got to be sealed. Can't emphasise that enough. And if you rip it, put some more on. Exactly. Right. And then, as you'll see, gas is on. And then put the whole tray on the gas. On the gas? On the gas. What's going on now, here? What is this wizardry play? Now, turn that up. And when you can hear that bubbling, so I should go back actually, if you want to put a bit of grease through paper, right. sometimes stop the skin sticking to the foil. Pretty much it doesn't, but just a bit of a safe side, a bit on the safe side. Once that's boiling and you can hear that, five minutes simmering. Leave it for five clear minutes bubbling away. In the meantime. I mean, if you've got induction. We'll come on to that. Right. In the meantime, I've set this oven here at 200 degrees centigrade. That needs to be at full temperature. Once that's boiling for five minutes, as soon as you put that in the oven at 200, it'll carry on cooking. If that's not as boiling, and that's not a temperature, that puts an hour on the cooking time. Oh, really? One hour. Now, going back to your induction point, if you can't do induction, I use boiling water, the same water, but you need to increase the cooking time by about 40 minutes. OK. Because you can't boil it. Don't panic, it will cook, it just takes a little bit longer. OK. Right. So please don't worry. Good to know. On my website and the morning website, there's a complete uh, timetable of every size crown, Every size bird, stuffed or unstuffed, on the cook up to I think it's sixteen pounds. 
so that it works. So you've got a little table. Yes, and all that happens really is the cooking time just takes a bit longer. Right. So in that goes, at that point, two hours. Mm -hmm. All right, now if sometimes the legs will spring open, Put a bit of foil back over it, put it back in the oven. Don't panic. Okay. Let it cook. All right? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm Don't such stop. a child. And... I just <laughs> can't help but panic, though. We always panic. Well, the legs spring open, I'd yeah. panic. <laughs> no worries. I, I knew when I said that I shouldn't It's your own fault, Bill. You set yourself up here. Now, mm. at, that, at the two hour mark, and this is for a five kilo bird, okay, lift this off, and you'll see there's the steam. Oh, look at that. There it is, okay? Immense. Now, at that point, you either use a little bit of oil or um, a little bit of butter. Sorry, Phil, yeah. how big did you say this bird was? Just over five kilos. Five kilos. About okay. 10, 11 pounds. You then tip off the gravy. Now, I've got to show you this. So this, this is the, this is the gravy you get. Is this that gravy? Yeah. So that is a beautiful gravy. See that? No and, way. Yeah, and you tip that off and you thicken that. And that's where the stock cube comes in, Andy. Exactly. So all those juices have gone into that gravy with a little bit of corn flour water or gravy granules, just thicken it in a pan like I've done there. Yeah, it's gorgeous, okay? that gravy. And that, there. So then, you then butter this or oil this, you then turn your oven up as high as it will go, give it 15 minutes to brown. Right. Take it out, cover it with foil, and it'll end up like this little beauty here. OK? This Don't panic. Here's the whole thing. People panic because they only cook it once a year. They panic. Don't panic. It works. Trust me, I've done it a long, long time. Oh, wow. And there's Surprise. the one with that. That's all we did that. earlier. Bullshit. Um, Phil, we have been inundated with questions for you. Um, but while you do the carving, can I just ask you this? Um, it's from Joyce. My roasties always come out soggy. What am I, going, what am I doing wrong? Uh, Could it be that I'm using too much fat? Uh, no, fat won't make a difference. Um, uh, what happens is if the oven's not hot enough, they don't go crispy, and you keep turning them too many times. So you cook them till the outsides fall off, yeah. boil them, hot oil in the oven, and you cook them for 40 minutes, turn them once only, and they go crunchy on the bo bottom, crunchy on the top, and fluffy inside. How long should you parboil them for, though? Until the outsides fall off. Right, OK, fine. OK, okay. it's really... Okay, every potato is different. This is okay. gorgeous, Phil. So, can I just show you this? Go yeah. on. There it is. So, that's one I've done. Look at that. Oh! There. Look at that. And it is perfectly and look, done. Look how soft that is. You can see, yeah. by me doing that, that's juicy. It's not Christmas without Phil's turkey. Hey, we go. it's been for a long, long time. Merry Christmas, Anson. Thank you, Phil Hang on, hang on, just Oh, sorry. I just want to show the gravy. So there's the Look. gravy that goes on. That there. gravy is stunning. Look at that. That, Look at honestly, that. is the best oh. bit. Gorgeous. We love you, Phil. On the website. And I, I don't like the word, but it's so moist and lovely. Moist. Yeah, I'm glad you, you said that. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, recipes from all our chefs can be found on our free This Morning app. Stop it. Time to check back in.